Guys, we've had a little bit of a change of plans here with the white pickup truck. I've actually got a different motor here. We've got a VG30, but he gave it to me, kind of landed in my lap here. Got 720 mounts with it, a couple transmissions, and a box of junk. So we're just going to see what happens and keep her moving. Now, as I've already got the motor mounts sorted out, the next concern is the front cross member here. So we're just going to stick the motor in today and see what kind of modifications we can make to make this all work for oil pan clearances and stuff. Okay, as you can see, the motor mounts aren't quite gonna work. The oil pan is literally setting on that, so it's just gonna have to be taller, no two ways about it. The other problem is this front cross member right here. I think right around here looks good, which means it's fabrication time, because we're gonna need to make some form of adapter to go from right there to right here, which is no big deal. We'll whip something up here in a minute, but I just wanna say, if you're not comfortable just making whatever you need to make this project happen, I wouldn't attempt it because the whole thing is just going to be, oh, it doesn't line up. We're just going to have to make something. So if you don't have some fabrication tools and maybe a little bit of skill, I'm lacking in the skill department, but eager enough to make it happen. So we're just going to make this work here.
want to talk about this unit here a little bit. Finished it up around 9.30 last night, which for me is pretty late, so I wasn't feeling too chatty. But just got the welding machine last week, so keep that in mind. All of the important, I say important, but all welds are important. Welds had great penetration, perfect surface cleaning, everything's good, especially around the dog ears here, the corners. Um, these 45s right here, I didn't quite do the surface prep I should have, as this is all scrap. There was a little bit of rust on this right here. Got some porosity and wormholing in these, but again, surface metal blended, good puddle. It's not, not really the end of the world. We'll be able to keep removing on that. With these dog ears, I did uh, cut them out on the drill press. That worked out great. The only downside was when I did go and weld it, I got a little overzealous on this side here. You'll notice this is around 42 degrees-ish, which brought this end in. And I had to go and ream this just a little bit with the hand drill while I was under there. Not a big deal at the end of the day, it's just a little bit unsightly. But it holds good, it's not going anywhere. You could pick the truck up by just this unit alone easily. It's a lot stronger than the factory unit and I didn't end up using any of the factory stuff. It was just easier to use this square tube I had in the scrap pile there. Didn't really spend any money on it again, just all repurposed stuff. If you like this video or want to see more of the awesome VG30 buildup on this truck and the evolutions I'm sure it'll go through in the process, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.